Hi friends, welcome to Doing Life Deliberately. This week is a little bit different. I'm gonna do a little bit of a vlog because I've been dealing with some eye issues. I don't know if you can tell from the video or not, but um, my left eye here is really red and swollen and it's been irritating me for about a week. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to share with you guys what we as full-time RVers do for healthcare. This is a question that a lot of people who are getting ready to full-time RV ask, or maybe you are a world traveler, um, or maybe you're just feeling like your health insurance is too expensive and you're wondering what some other alternatives are. Okay, so first things first, when you have a medical issue and you're out on the road, away from home, what do you do? for medical care. And one thing that we have found that's been extremely helpful is called Doctor On Demand. It's an app right here on my phone that I am able to access simply by loading it onto the phone and I can do a video office visit with a doctor. Now obviously this isn't gonna work for urgent issues like a broken bone or you know if, if you're having acute pain or something like that. You have to go to an emergency room or urgent care for those types of issues, right? But if you're having maybe sinus issues or chest congestion or you have a rash or even like this eye issue or ear infection, those sorts of things that are a little less urgent and emergent, you can use app, an app like Doctor On Demand. What you do is you register with them and they do work with different types of medical insurance if you have medical insurance or if you don't, you can pay cash. And it was $75 for the appointment and I was able to, within less than five minutes of getting onto the app, talk with a doctor face to face. I was able to bring the phone up to my eye and have him take a look at it. And our approach to different things like this, even with like car repairs, is that we start with the simplest, easiest solutions first. So using an app like Doctor On Demand is that first simple, easy step. You are talking with the doctor and you're paying the least amount of money probably, honestly, to talk with the doctor that is possible. And so I talked with the doctor, he prescribed some eye drops and he said, if this doesn't work in the next few days, if it gets worse or it's not going away, then you really probably should go see an ophthalmologist or go to urgent care. So great, I have a step two in place and I've started with this, the simplest, easiest solution to try to take care of whatever this is. But then that brings us to how do you pay for healthcare? And our family, a couple years back um, went through a job transition and so Joe no longer had health insurance for our family. We decided that the best option for us was going with a health share program. Now there's some serious benefits to health share. Now, one of them is that you can see any doctor you want to anywhere in the United States. With health share you have to negotiate your costs. So, when you're using a health insurance company, that health insurance company is negotiating for you as their patient, as their customer. You don't have to negotiate costs at all. But with the health share program, you do that for yourself. So when you go see a doctor, you say, I'm going to pay cash today. What is the best price you can give me? Now, if you're doing something like a CAT scan or MRI, or a different like service like that where you have the time to kind of shop around a little bit, then you can hop on the phone, make some phone calls, and find out who is offering the best price for the exact same service. And after a certain amount, then the health share program picks up the tab. Now what you have to do is you have to pay cash first or set up a payment plan with that doctor or healthcare provider, but then the health share program reimburses you because however they are set up, they will pull from others who are in the health share program to send that money to you on a monthly basis until your bills are paid. I think for us, it's $300 a month. So if our 
if our cost of service is over $300, then HealthShare kicks in and we will be reimbursed for that service. Um, now with HealthShare, there are pre-existing conditions, um, clauses that you have to research just like you would with any insurance. Um, but our particular health share, you can share that with them and they will put it out to others in the health share program and say, this person has this pre-existing condition that was not covered by um, our health share program. If you would like to donate to them, here's how. And I think that's really cool too. Um, our particular health share program is called Samaritan Ministries and they encourage you to pray for others that are in the health share program when you write your monthly check or send it through PayPal that you can you can pray for them and I really think that's pretty cool too that as a body of believers we can kind of share not just the financial burden but we can also share that spiritual burden with each other. I just think that's really really cool. But there are lots of different health share programs out there that are faith-based or not faith-based. And so I would really encourage you if you are a full-time traveler or maybe you're just finding that your insurance costs are ridiculously high, I would encourage you to just Google health shares and see what comes up and do a little bit of research and see if there might be a better deal for your family. It was certainly less expensive for us to do a health share program than it was for us to do a private insurance. So give it a try, look it up, and, and don't be afraid of it. If you can be an advocate for yourself, ask questions, ask people to give you a discount and negotiate your prices, you can make this work. And it could be a really great deal for you because you can get the best possible health care by seeking out providers that you're comfortable with and not being restricted to in-network or out-of-network or having to go through a chain of referrals. You can do away with all of that through a health share program. So I will put the link to Samaritan Ministries in the description box below, as well as a link to Doctor On Demand. Let me just tell you that as a family who has ongoing prescription uses, getting off our insurance was one of the best things ever. And I was really concerned about it as a full-time RVing family, but here's why. We found out about Good RX, and I am not being sponsored by anybody today. I'm just telling you what has worked for us, and I hope that it will be helpful to you. But there is an app, again on your phone, called Good RX. You maybe have even seen commercials on TV, and I love this app. Um, what you do is you can put in the medicine that you're looking for on this app, and then using your location, it will tell you the nearest places that it works with and the costs at each of those places so that you can call into that pharmacy and get the best deal in the area. And we had insurance and we had been getting prescriptions through insurance for the past many years. And I tell you what, we are getting um, bigger scripts so that we have to go to the pharmacy less and we're getting them for cheaper through GoodRx than we were through our insurance company. So if you are using prescriptions, even if you are using health insurance, get on to GoodRx and just look it up. Give it a try and see if you can't get your prescriptions for cheaper than what you're currently get, getting them for. I will put a link in the description box below. We've just really had good experiences with each of these different things. And I hope that maybe that just gives you one more thing to think about as you are anticipating going on the road full time and traveling, or maybe you're just trying to weigh the costs and benefits of what you're currently doing and trying to look for something that is better for your family. So GoodRx for prescriptions, Doctor On Demand for your medical, your less urgent medical care, and Samaritan Ministries is our health share program, but health shares in general, they all have different pros and cons and things that you can consider. So anyway, I hope that helps you today. If there's other things that you're curious about, what it's like being a full-time RV family and how do we deal with these different issues, we would love to hear those questions from you. So definitely put those in the description box below and maybe we can make a video about those in the future. Or if you're just curious about this lifestyle or how we do it or homeschool or road school, whatever, 
put those questions down below. We want to make videos about the questions that you have and, and be a blessing to you. So thanks so much for tuning in today. We hope to see you again soon. Thanks friends.